Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and welcome to the another video of JavaScript complete course. So in this video we are going to talk about for loop in JavaScript. So before jumping over to the main point, if you didn't subscribe my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you'll get the notification of my new video when I upload it. Alright, so let's get started. So the for loop is the most compact form of looping. It includes the following three important parts. So now let's jump over to the here we are going to talk about the important parts of the for loop. So the first one is initialization, as you can see from starting and ending this point. So this is called the loop initialization, where we initialize our counter for, to start, where we initialize our counter to a starting value. The initialization statement is executed before the loop begins. And the next we have testing or a test statement which will test if a given condition is true or not if the condition is true then the code given inside the loop will be executed otherwise the control will come out of the loop and the last one here you can see is the iteration the iteration statement where you can increase or decrease your counter now let's write a simple program in by using the for loop so first let me remove this first i'm going to create a variable which is counter and i'm not going to initialize any value into it so here i'm going to first type a simple document dot write Starting. Here we go. And after that, we're going to use the for loop. So here I'm going to remove all this uh, default text from here. And here I'm going to uh, initialize this uh, variable, which is counter is equal to zero. So I want to start my count or counter from zero. And after that, I'm going to increase. I'm going to check the condition or test the condition. So counter is less than ten. So first, it will start from zero. Then it will test the condition. And after that, it will increase one number. And I'm going to remove this from here. And inside this opening and closing curly braces, I'm going to type my code. So the code will be doc, simple document dot write counter number. So I'm going to type counter, counter and so after that I'm going to jump or use the uh, br tag to jump over to the next line and now let's document dot write type simple text loop stop that's it so here i have created a variable with the by name of counter and here i have a simple text for the user to display on the screen after that i've created a for uh, for a uh, loop and initialize the value to zero so that the counter will start from the zero and after that it will check the condition it will uh, repeat this uh, code this uh, text again and again until it reached to the 10 and it will increase number one by one and here it will be displayed a simple text that loop stops so when I save this, here we go. So it counts, it starts from 0, here you can see counter number 0, and 1, 2, 3, until 9. I, here I have said, while the, count, well, the counter is less than 10, it means that it's not going to display the 10, because 10 is not less than 10, 10 is equal to 10. But if I say counter less or equal than 10, then it will print the 10 here you can see but if I remove equal 
then it will only uh, print until 9. So hope you understand until this point. If you have any question, any suggestion, please leave the comment below. If you didn't subscribe my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get the notification of my new video when I upload it.